Grade 7 Math, number 7.3c, Compound Inequalities and Solution Sets. A compound inequality consists of two simple equalities joined by the words and or or. This is a compound inequality. X is greater than 3 and X is less than 6. They're joined together by the word and. Here's one equality, here's another equality. It's a compound inequality. We can graph the values that make each one true on one number line. Because x is greater than 3, it doesn't include 3, so we put a circle to show that it's an open set. It doesn't include the 3, and we continue on this way, but we have to stop because x is less than 6, so we put an open circle here to show it's an open set, and that keeps us contained right in between here. So if x is greater than 3 but less than 6, we know it could be any value that's in between here on the number line, see? If we're given x is less than 3 or x is greater than 6, see? I've got the signs flipped around, okay? We can graph this compound inequality with two arrows on one number line. It says that x is less than 3. Well, it doesn't equal 3, so we use the open circle and we go down less. And it's x is greater than 6, we use the open circle because it's not equal to 6, and we go on to infinity larger. See? A solution set is a set of all the values that make an inequality true. And we can write a solution set in parentheses using the infinity symbol to show the values go on infinitely. Like this 6 goes on forever and ever and ever to trillions and higher, okay? The solution set for x is greater than 3 would be written as a 3 comma and then an infinity symbol. We call this interval notation when we put it in the parentheses like this, okay? So that's compound inequalities and solution sets, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the interval notation and making these number line graphs in 7.3.D. I hope to see you there. Bye.